wanted a different life and lifestyle mm -hmm. than he was able to provide. And so you said, you know what, this, I'm out of here. I need more money. Um, I was selfish mm -hmm. and took advantage of a real unfortunate situation, which was he loved me and David unconditionally. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and we're about to react to Love and Marriage Huntsville, uh, where a woman makes a pretty shocking confession. Like to say this out loud, I'm very surprised, but she felt safe doing it. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Sometimes divorce is just complicated and it's unfortunate and no one's at fault. That's what happens when a marriage and a family breaks up. I've been divorced before, you know, my first marriage, we yeah. made all of the mistakes. Unfortunately, he passed away. So why did you guys get a divorce? Because I really wanted something it's very unfortunate because he was the most loving, wow. kind person. I, I had all the love and support that I could have ever wanted. But I think I went through a period wanting money. Like I wanted to be with someone and be at a different level. And I saw him work all of the time. It's, it's one thing to like work and work and work from like 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night, day in, day out, and still have no resources. Mm. And for me to work, do the same, and just want a different life. So, long story short. That's pretty, that's pretty rough. We, I don't know the situation, but she talks about he was loving, supporting, he was a great man, but she wanted more. She wanted, what did we hear? She wanted to level up, essentially, um, and go to the next level and find a man with more resources, more money that will provide and take care of her. Now, I have not watched this show, so I don't know if she's found that man. I don't know if she had children in her previous marriage. And, you know, and some rich man, a man making more, decided to wife her up. Um, but that's rare. I know a lot of people see Sierra and they be thinking, oh, girl, I can do better. I can do better over myself. I can do better. I'm going to give me a Russell Wilson. But the reality is women who are single um, have never had children, never been married, you know, they're, you know, have their stuff together. They're having a hard time dating. And I think a lot of women in marriage, um, they feel as though their, you know, their husband is not enough. They see Instagram, they see, they see the show, they see shows like this. They see, see real housewives and women getting men who have money and pay for things and all these, this other stuff. But the reality on the ground is just not that. Um, I think, you know, and I think a lot of married women don't pay attention to the streets that we don't really, you know, when I was married previously, and let me just say, I did not file, I did not cheat, none of that. Okay. Um, so I was actually in the position maybe of her husband, to be honest with you. So when you, when you are in a marriage and you, you know, you're just focused on the kids and family and things like that, you don't really think about dating. You don't think about what the street's like. You don't think about any of that. You just see what's on social media. You just see what's on TV. You just listen to friends. You're just, you know, you hit midlife crisis. You decide that, you, you know, this isn't the life I thought I wanted. Um, I'm discovering myself. I'm whatever. I got to go to do something else. And while for some people it works out, the vast majority, it doesn't. Um, especially when if you're leaving a situation for no good reason. Now, I will say this though. When she got with her husband, you know, was she okay with him not making a certain amount? Was she okay with them not being leveled up or being rich or her living a certain lifestyle? I think the li lifestyle uh, demon, the uh, level up demon got into her and she wants, she saw other people being able to do better and, and she could, you know, could do better. Wanted a different life and lifestyle mm -hmm. than he was able to provide. And so you said, you know what, this, I'm out of here. I need more money. Um, I was selfish mm -hmm. and took advantage of a real unfortunate situation, which was he loved me and David unconditionally, completely unconditionally. And when you love someone like that, you really accept their flaws mm -hmm. and you accept less than what you should. So really, I should have been a better wife. Every time we saw each other, like you knew that was your soulmate, right? Wow. I mean. Wow, so he was your soulmate? It's hard because I knew how he still felt about me. 
I, he just loved you. He really did. And you broke his heart. <sighs> oh, don't cry too. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe that I am who I am today. I am the wife that I am to Lewis because I knew what it felt like to be loved so unconditionally. Yeah. Wow. At least you can be honest and own your truth. I will applaud you 10 hands and toes down for that. <laughs> because there will be people who will not sit here and admit I wanted more money and a better lifestyle. If I would have really sat down and said, I'm gonna pause for a second and really evaluate the options here. Yeah. Does money really gonna be able to buy you happiness? Money doesn't buy happiness. It sure doesn't. But you have to go through that personal growth process to really understand on the, what that looks like on the other side. This is the scary part about marriage. Um, and I wanna have more discussions about it because I don't know, like the more I see it, like I just, I'm not understanding what is going on out here. And I just don't understand, I don't understand why I don't understand why men today are doing just like straight up marriage with no paperwork, no, just a license, just a free open contract with no term set. Um, and if you know the history of the marriage licenses in this country, you know, it's a, it's a scam. Um, and that it, you know, there's no other thing that you can do in life without having some type of like, you know, either if you want to drive, you have to, you know, take a course, pass a test. If you want to do, you know, so many things. But when it comes to getting married, having children, none of that, you could just, just this is a free for all. Just, you just have it. You just do it. But I do think we could see a lot of change if more people advocated for, you know, contracts, um, before marriage and you know prenups and i think the average it used to be relegated to the rich but let's be honest everyone needs one and i actually think you need a parenting plan that that to me is the real kicker as well because whoo that can get nasty and ugly as well so anyway i thought this was important to highlight um if this was a man who had said this, guys, there will be way more uproar. We would see so many channels talking about this. It would just be blood in the streets if this was a man who admitted that he left his wife for, you know, a, a younger, um, hotter woman uh, who was more fertile. Or let's just say the woman was infertile, right? And he left his wife for a younger woman who could have his kids. Um, and then if he left his wife, especially in the black community, if he left his wife for a woman of another race, it, it, with that same thing, it would be blood in the streets. He probably couldn't even show his face on TV no more. Honestly, they probably pull him off. That's how bad it would get. But anyway, anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.